What's going on YouTube? I often get questions asking why I snail on one, when should you king up, when should you save, um, and I think it's a it's a kind of a complex question, right? I think there is a, a lot of nuance to it, and I think that there is not necessarily always a right answer. But I think the important thing is, is there's some things to kind of guide yourself with, right? I think um, there are many, many good resources out there um, in terms of like, you know, starts, etc., that you can kind of base this off of, whether it's my lock in videos or, or other such websites like uh, LTD Stats. Um, but the, the biggest thing is if you are a high worker start, right? Like if you start with a, a gate guard, a wind hawk, a wild shroom, um, or even an elite archer for that matter, something that you can five workers start with, sending a snail on one is realistically going to be beneficial to you because it's going to delay and make the waves prolonged, right? If you send uh, a snail into a berserker, for instance, it's going to delay the wave an extra couple seconds, which with a five worker start may be enough to get you another 20 send out to get you to that extra worker or that get you to that extra to that extra build out. Um, you know, like it's kind of an important thing sometimes when you're greedy start to make sure you get that value out as soon as possible. Um, that being said, snail on one can leak things. People don't often realize that if you're going greedy start, you can leak to a snail. It's not very common, especially in lower elos. It's not very common to get a snail and leak. But in higher elos especially, snail and leak is pretty frequent. Um, if you're something like a gate guard, you leak 42%. Um, if you're something like Windhawk, you'll leak 62%. Wild Shroom is 67%. Um, Elite Archer is like somewhere in the 60% as well. I think it's a little bit RNG on what it targets and shoots, especially if you don't have a, if you don't have a split, etc. Um, but those are all units that can leak on one and will leak on one to a snail, which then in turn, if you're a high worker start and they leak, you're slightly ahead of them now, right? Um, likelihood is they also snailed or sent you a 20 on one if they're a high worker start or want to be high worker start. So there's some, there's some nuance there, right? There's also the builds like Green Devil. Um, there's some builds like with like Green Devil that are only, you know, a three worker start, but can easily push to five or six workers in the first two to th two waves, right? So if you're, you could very easily be on six worker with a green devil by wave three. Not very hard to do, happens a lot in higher elo. In that situation, um, sending a snail or a king up is beneficial, but just sending is the important thing. Um, if you want to try to continue to scale early game, right? You could theoretically still save. You could theoretically still save, but there's still some merit to getting a leak or delaying the wave if you're going to be a high worker start. And this is how I look at it, right? Um, if I think I'm going to be a high worker start and I can get some time extra out of the early waves, it's be beneficial to me. Now, the flip side of this, where you don't want to send snail ever, is if you're going something like Grarl into egg. You do not want any leaks whatsoever if you're growling into egg. So in that situation, you want to never snail. I repeat, do not snail if you're growling into egg. At the end of the day, you're just more likely to get your own egg killed because you're lower workers and you're going to have more time for the enemies then to build up and send a larger thing on two or three whenever they want to hit you with, with the egg, right? So there's some nuance to this, right? It kind of depends on when you're building, what you're building, how much you're building, how many workers you're going to have. Um, and I think it kind of depends as you go, right? Um, realistically, though, if you want a rule of thumb, if you're high worker count early, four to five workers right away, or you think you can get high workers, just send a 20. It can be a king up or it can be a snail. Lower elos, you're more than likely not going to be able to leak somebody with a snail just because simply no one plays it greedy enough, right? Or the flip side of it, if you're too low elo, people don't know how to build, period, and then um, a snail can get anybody <laughs> because no one's on value. So look at it as this. 
high worker start or playing someone that tends to greed a lot, send a snail. M middle of the pack, I'm going to be high worker and I want delay or I want to be higher worker early. You can send a snail or 20. If you're building something that you know for a fact you are going to be low worker on, especially egg. If you're going to be low worker or you're going to be, you know, struggling early with the build you're doing um, in terms of worker count, I would definitely recommend not sending a snail then and just king upping. In those situations, you're much better off king upping or not sending at all if you want those units, um, if you want to not feed your enemy while you're low worker count. The other flip side of it too is if, if you're in a low enough elo where you know for a fact a lot of people leak on, let's say, wave 2, wave 3, whatever it may be, uh, skipping that first income and then just sending the snail on 2 is also a valid option. He gives you the ability to assess the builds that are going on and kind of determine what you need to do from there, right? If you king up or snail, on one, you get the same amount of gold as you would if you would have just sent a s snail on two, but you get to assess the builds. Sometimes that's good, sometimes it's bad, it kind of depends, right? Um, if I don't send on one and I see a Grarl, I usually am either going to go for a DT on two or a, um, another save to see what they do. If I send a, a Grarl on one, a snail or a king up, and I see that it's a Grarl, I probably send on two just to see if I catch a person going growl into something else and shifting on four or on three excuse, two excuse me um shifting four three um but that's kind of it right it's a nuanced thing i recommend as a new player figure out what you're building first right i've always said this figure out what you're building first and then base it off of what you're doing if you have a greedy start send otherwise you're going to hurt yourself right if you're five workers on one and you're not sending until three you're most likely going to leak on three and pretty bad at that because you're not going to have any value whatsoever to hold depending on what you build obviously um, but if you're green devil or something that you want to scale early send who cares try scaling um, it's it's kind of all preference right at the end of the day it's all preference um, just definitely do not send a snail with an egg I've seen this actually quite often don't snail with egg you're gonna get yourself in trouble because if they leak you're now behind in workers, behind in time, and you're just going to be down in general. So anyway, that's kind of this video. If you guys have any more questions about this topic, feel free to drop them in the in the comments below. Um, I do my best to answer every comment I get, but obviously some of it's just does. There's not a whole lot I can really say. So appreciate you guys all watching. Um, if you did like the video, please like it, subscribe if you want more content, and I will catch you guys later. Peace.